Hey guys, it's Kevin, and yesterday the untethered jailbreak came out for the iPod Touch 2G. As you can see, this is a 2G right here. Volume rocker, the little round thing. Yeah, well, the explanation for that is because this company, which I can't really say the name, is, was selling the untethered jailbreak for $15, and so the dev team basically just put it out there so they stopped making money. They're originally going to wait for the new iPod thing with Jiggy, but I don't know the whole thing, okay? just. I'm just going to help you jailbreak your iPod Touch. First thing you notice, this is unjailbroken. This was originally running Red Snow Light, which was a tethered jailbreak, which is pretty gay. Well, actually, it was pretty good. cool. But yeah, it was having problems. Okay, so, first part. You download Quick Freedom. I'll put a link up somewhere in the info. So, you open up Quick Freedom after you install it, and there's one button, and it says jailbreak. So, obviously, you click on it. Okay, it doesn't seem to be working. Okay, there it goes. So, first part, it says install lib USB. If you haven't installed it, install it. And if you're on Windows XP, I mean Windows Vista, you should be running in a Windows XP compatibility mode, or else you're going to get some funky errors. And then it says original 2.21 firmware found, and that's good. So when you meet all the requirements, click next. So it says install installer, use custom boot logo, and you just click create firmware. So you click this. It's going to take 10 minutes, so I'm going to just cut the video right now. I'm going to start when it's done creating. So yeah, hold up. You won't probably won't know the difference. Okay, while it's finishing, uh, I'm just going to say I didn't make the graphic user interface or I didn't even make the untethered jailbreak thing. The Quick Freedom is by DanCool999 on iPod Touch Forum. And the, the patch thing is done by the dev team mostly muscle nerd and a little bit of chronic I guess I'm not really good on the tech stuff yeah I'm just here okay so it says your IPSW has been completely completed and patched successfully so click next and it says put your iPhone in DFU mode and start press start pre jailbreak so DFU mode is when I don't know if you can see this you hold your home button and your sleep wake button for 10 seconds so you hear that noise. Alright, now you let go. And you keep holding on to your home button until you hear another noise. Ta-da! There, DFU mode. Now, all you have to do is click that thing right there. You click Start Pre-Jailbreak. So, click that and your iPhone should have a white screen. If not, you fucked up somewhere. Not my fault. Yeah, it's pretty boring watching this thing. I feel for you guys. Uh. Okay, so it's applying the red snow patch. They tricked me. I thought it was finished. The little doo 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 sound. Okay, so it says your iPad detected in recovery mode, blah blah blah. Okay, now it says iPod successfully put into pre jailbreak mode. Now restore your custom firmware in iTunes. Files located on your desktop. So open up iTunes, shift click restore, go to your desktop, and you find your custom firmware IPSW. You should be there. You open that joint up, and then let's watch the magic. Actually, no, it's not working right now. It's extracting. It takes a long time. So, yeah. Oh, oh, it's preparing. Look, my computer screen and my iPod are matching. It's cute. Wait, no, no, it's not. Now your screen should be black. Hopefully, if it's oh, do you see the Apple logo? That's a good sign. Of, I don't know, but that's good. That's real good. I hate waiting. I'm really impatient. iPod still has shows the little Apple thing. Oh, oh, changed. Just to let you know, I have a tripod. And it's riding on my crotch and it hurts. So, yeah. Okay, so it's doing that little weird bar thing. And that's going to take a while. So, I'm just going to cut the video short and just going to do the same thing like I did before. Okay, so, yeah. Okay, that was literally the longest wait in my life. That was like 20 minutes. Even more. 
Okay, so, if you're wondering why there's like a mirror effect, that's from my screen protector. Yeah, it's by Propoda and it's called Echo Mirror Screen Protector. Right now my iPod's restarting and it shows a little icon thing Majiki and it says slide to unlock. And oh my god, there's Cydia and installer. Okay, so, to prove that it's untethered, I'm going to reset my iPod. Something you would never think of doing on a tethered jailbreak. So, power off. Wait for it. I think it powered off. Power on, hopefully. Okay. If all works according to plan, it's going to boot correctly. Come on. I've, I've hope. Open you iPod. Oh, I got recognized. That was pretty fast. And there it is, City Installer. This is the Untethered Jailbreak. So if you have any problems, just comment. And yeah, subscribe, please. I make some really shitty iPod videos, but yeah, just, just do it, okay? Thanks.